thousands of people rallied in cities across the United States Sunday to protest deadly violence by a mob of Ku Klux Klan members and neo-Nazis during a rally in Charlottesville, Virginia, on Saturday. A 20-year-old Nazi sympathizer killed one anti-racist activist and injured more than a dozen others when he intentionally drove his car through a crowd of people protesting against the KKK and neo-Nazis, who were rallying to oppose Charlottesville's plan to remove a monument of the Confederate General Robert E. Lee from a downtown public park. On Sunday, thousands poured into the streets of Seattle, Denver, Baltimore, San Francisco, Los Angeles, San Diego. Dallas, Washington, D.C., Miami, Charlottesville, Virginia, to protest the white supremacist violence and mourn the death of 32-year-old Heather Heyer, who was killed in the attack. This is David Modimer at a rally in New York. It's very interesting that he made a big point in his campaign about naming radical Islamic terrorism. And also, he made this huge show of denouncing MS-13, uh, but he can't come out and denounce white supremacy. I mean, that's, that's outrageous. At least three people were arrested at the protest in New York City. Across the country, many of the protesters also condemned the Trump administration for its ties to far-right and white supremacist figures, and President Trump's refusal to explicitly denounce the neo-Nazis and KKK members for carrying out the deadly violence. This is Nino Brown speaking at a rally organized by Boston Feminists for Liberation. Black Panther Party eliminated. Martin Luther King eliminated. Uh, 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 Fred Hansen eliminated. The Ku Klux Klan in the presidency, in the White House, right? So lines are being drawn. And it's all going to come down to which side are you on? That's an old union song, right? Yeah. Which side are you on? In Seattle, Washington, at least three people were arrested as hundreds rallied Sunday to denounce the violence in Charlottesville and to oppose a local demonstration by the pro-Trump far-right group The Patriot Prayer. The white supremacist violence in Charlottesville began Friday night as thousands of neo-Nazis, KKK members and other white nationalists began descending on the city of Charlottesville to participate in the Unite the Right rally. Hundreds of white men and women bearing torches marched on the University of Virginia campus and surrounded the statue of Thomas Jefferson on Friday night, chanting, you will not replace us and white lives matter. Thousands of counter-protesters also descended on Charlottesville over the weekend, including clergy, students, Black Lives Matter activists and protesters with the anti-fascist movement known as Antifa. On Saturday morning, more than a 1,000 white supremacists marched to the public park, recently renamed Emancipation Park, which is home to the statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee. Many were carrying Nazi flags and other white supremacist paraphernalia, wore body armor and carried assault rifles and pistols. They were met by the thousands of anti-racist counter-demonstrators. Dent witnesses report police did little to intervene even as fights broke out. Around 1.45 p.m., a man named James Alex Fields, who had been rallying with the white supremacists earlier in the day, drove his Dodge Charger into a crowd of counter-demonstrators, then peeled away and reverse in what many are calling an act of terrorism. A local paralegal named Heather Heyer was killed in the attack, and at least 19 others were injured. Heyer had repeatedly championed civil rights issues on social media. Her Facebook cover read, if you're not outraged, you're not paying attention. This is Heather Heyer's mother, Susan Bro, speaking on ABC News. And that's what she was doing that day. Yeah. Yes, yesterday. When she was killed, she was doing that with people. She was saying, well, tell me why you're here. And um, I know this because this is what her friends told me. And that's what Heather's life was all about, passion for fairness, passion for equality, passion for justice. Heather Heyer's mother speaking on NBC this weekend. One of James Alex Field's high school teachers says he was obsessed with Adolf Hitler and Nazi military history and showed clear Nazi sympathies that the teacher tried unsuccessfully to steer him away from. Fields has been charged with one count of second-degree murder and is slated to be arraigned today. Two state troopers, Pilot Lieutenant H. J. Cullen and Trooper Pilot Burke M. M. Bates, also died Saturday, when their helicopter crashed en route to the scene of the violence. 
Photographs and videos also show white supremacists beating other counter-demonstrators, including a young African-American protester named DeAndre Harris. He said, quote, "'They were trying to kill me out there. The police didn't budge, and I was getting beat to a pulp,' he said." This is Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe condemning the violence. And I have a message to all the white supremacists and the Nazis who came into Charlottesville today. Our message is plain and simple. Go home. You are not wanted in this great commonwealth. Shame on you. You pretend that you're patriots, but you are anything but a patriot. President Trump, however, refused to single out white supremacist violence. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides, on many sides. It's been going on for a long time in our country. Not Donald Trump, not Barack Obama. This has been going on for a long, long time. It is no place in America. What is vital now is a swift restoration of law and order and the protection of innocent lives. Trump's comments sparked widespread outrage. A new White House statement on Sunday explicitly denounced the Ku Klux Klan and neo-Nazi groups, but it was attributed to an unnamed spokesperson and not the president himself. Other members of the Trump administration have more explicitly condemned the violence. Trump's national security adviser, H.R. McMaster, said the attack constituted terrorism.